same as it used to be. It's much more difficult. There is a few changes that I guess you can look at in a sense to be a bit more positive. His flame break is now more of a clockwork in the off lane. It seems like he's doing okay. He's 9-0 and as far as CS goes. As for his level, he's level 4, but I must have cast or cursed him because the second I point that out, they're going to make the go on to Bulldog now. That The help is not there, and they're going to be getting the first blood, and of all people, it goes to Sing Sing on the gyro. They worked that out well, but on the other side of the world, Chaos continues to break out. Now, they're able to take down my nuts. The Ogre will fall, but that's in exchange for Ake also going down. Still Unless you want to smoke for a roll or whatever, something like that could be also a play. But you can, like, this is a situation for Burden that is very scary. If, it's, if a gyrocopter is alone like that, Ake is going to, he has his finger up. Yep, he moves in. Call down does come from Sing. They get the track onto my nuts and they're able to finish him off. And then they follow it up with Bulldog onto Sing Sing and they can get that kill here. Can they get the return to Pycat? The curse is there, but here comes the jump in from Paris. Looking to follow it up. Can they take down the ledge? They certainly can, making it at least a two for one trade. But nice finger comes out and they're going to be able to clean up the Winter Wyver. Come with me, he's going to go down. And now Necroman gets saved up a little bit, but he's still tracked up. They're on the prowl. Can Loda get the finishing blow here and secure even more of a bounty? It looks like they'll be able to. He has nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, and he will go down with a flurry. And that ends up being a four for one trade. Shadow Fiend, he's, he's not just on par with the gyrocopter. And it, I believe it comes down to that there's little decision making. Okay, do. jump in lasso. It's on the pie cat. He already popped his BKB. Meanwhile, an Omni Slash Snow goes on to Nuts. Nuts is going to get saved up. Finger's still there. They're really trying to burst down the Ogre, but on the other side of the fight, they're going to make the turnaround going to pie cat. And pie cat's going to be the one to go down. So it's a trade between him and the Ogre. Now they're looking to follow up, trying to get hold of Loaded. The Rocket's already going to be out. Bulldog, though, interjects, jumps in, gets a nice set of cogs on the Necroman. He's going to be in trouble. Big Stone to fly on out, and it's a triple kill. Of all people, goes to Ake on the Lion. Now it's Alliance looking to turn and take back the fight. Desperate TP force out from Paris is going to be successful. But look at this. It's Mad on the prowl. He wants to train a dragon. It looks like that's going to be the form of come with me. He goes down. And it's more. Track gold for Alliance. Turns out to be a four for two. He goes for the burst, which is not terrible. Oh, Lasso, they scout out Pycat, they pull him back, they get the call down there, a jump that comes out from Bulldog, and it's a big cog catch! He's able to force himself away from trouble here, but the fight's gonna become split. Paris looking to make it go into Bulldog, come with me, gets slashed on the part, Mad secures another kill with the track, and dishes the amount out. Reckon gonna fly really good damage on the load, gonna be able to finish him off, but look at the ravage coming out from Ake with his lion. But when the dust settles, this is a profitable fight for Burn United. The the Earth split here on the other side. This just becomes a bit discombobulated from both sides. My nuts, though, very star for mana. Not going to be able to make it away as Bulldog shows up in the nick of time to catch him out with the cogs. He gets saved temporarily from the Winter Wyvern, but can't save him from the Dagon, the upgraded one that comes out from Mad. And because of that, come with me, desperate to try to contest the Roche, but he gets himself up to a pedestal, but it's a pedestal of death. He still goes down, and it's Alliance who are able to take away the Roche for themselves. Oh, it looks so very sketchy. Oh, they're so close to they don't even know yet. Oh, Sing Sing moves right into a hex. He's not going to get the BKB off. They're going to burst him down. Meanwhile, Paris still gets the pullback on the Pie Cat. Necroman getting off the Requiem. They might be able to burst down Mad here. Yes, they will. Paris is able to torch him on down. Sing Sing holds strong. Drops down the call down. He gets a kill. He's free for himself as he charges on. This might be Burning United's time. They're able to clear it on out. But Pie Cat gets his own set of kills before he's going to be dropped here. Loda not going to be able to scout out Paris. Paris going to make it away. And oh into the Roche pit here. Uh-oh, we might see contention. Look who's nearby. A flame break early. Not going to be able to bump up to the high ground. Oh, can we see a steel play here? It doesn't look like they're going to go for it. You have Mad on the meanwhile scouting him out. Oh, Ake, nice jump. It's a hex and the finger follow up. Trying to go for Paris and Bulldog. Makes the jump in on two. Able to finish off. Come with me. Now looking to go for my nuts. My nuts able to bump his way out of there. Mad going to get caught up with the lasso. He ends up going down. Makes it a one-for-one -one trade between two supports. And now Sing Sing charging on forward. Make the follow up here. Aki's looking to move on in. It's in a nice little choke point, so they're kind of second guessing their commitment. There's going to be the call down, and now Loda going to get caught up with the lasso pulled back while he does go for the blade free, but they're evil. They're going to be able to easily focus him. He is going to get the Omni Slash off. They're going to try to stay alive here. Another big stun from Aki from the high ground here. Necroman's going to end up going down. Sing Sing, who is tracked up, trying to go for blow for blow with Loda, but you're not going to be winning that fight. Ends up being a three man takedown. Alliance lose no one. He got a grid onto the win Winter Raven. Oh. And if he didn't get that, the Winter Raven could have potentially used any spell. But he died on a crit, and that essentially made the Omni Slash down the mid lane. Oh, but a smoke play from Burn United. Will they get to a point where they can creep in from behind here? Doesn't look like it. Looks like the opportunity might have to pass. 
And, they're and they see dead. everyone there. Uh oh. Suddenly, Alliance is like, what are they doing over there? They're gonna make the jump in. Immediate jump of the Omni Slice. Sing Sing is dead. No buyback. And this has gone to hell for Burn United. Alliance in a prime position from that high ground are just gonna commit on forward. They immediately reduce three. And I do not blame them for this. They throw in the towel. It is GG. And of this best of two, your first match is gonna go to Alliance. Quite a questionable play there by the support side, destroying the Observer Ward when you're smoked. You know Alliance does not show up, so there's a pretty big chance that they're smoking themselves. You take the vision away, Gyrocopter moves by, he's in vision, so the fight starts completely on the side of Alliance. Yeah, it was just, it was heartbreaking for them to see right there, but what do you think it was? It